These are the instructions for the right spot pH indicator. We will start by using the indicator to verify placement of a tube in the stomach. This tube can be used for feeding or for suction. This process is used to confirm that the tip of the tube is in the stomach. Place the tube to the desired distance by measuring the distance from the nose to the ear to the xiphoid. Pull back on the plunger 10 ml on a 60 ml syringe. Place the lower locking syringe onto the end of the right spot pH indicator. Insufflate 10 ml of air in adults to remove the tip of the tube from the stomach wall. Auscultation can be done over the epigastrum during this step. This will remove the tip of the tube from the stomach wall. Aspirate stomach contents until the contents come into contact with the pH indicator. View the color change on the pH indicator and compare to the color on the device. If the color of the indicating strip matches the color key on the device and turns a bright yellow, then the aspirate's pH is 4.5 or less. This would indicate gastric acidity. If the aspirate does not change the indicator to a bright yellow showing a pH less than 4.5, then the fluid has a pH of above 4.5. It is important to note that pH should be used in a combination of other methods to increase the accuracy and approach the accuracy of an x-ray. According to the Emergency Nurses Association and the Association of Critical Care Nursing, one should obtain the distance of the tube for stomach placement, auscultation over the epigastrum, view the color of aspirate to see if it appears to be gastric, and verify with pH one can use the right spot pH indicator to verify with pH. The specimen is estimated to be stable for two to five minutes at room temperature. Grossly bloody samples cannot be used. Specimens with coffee ground emesis can be used. Interpretation of the test should not be done by one who is colorblind. This test is designed to be used by qualified medical personnel as an aid in professional diagnosis. Water or feeding supplement may change the reading. Caution should be used when using sips of water to place tubes in conscious adults. Attention should also be given as to what medication the patient is taking. In one study of patients that were on these medications, pH was able to be used around 60% of the time. The effect of raising pH of the stomach aspirate by proton pump inhibitors and H2 blockers usually last less than six hours. If a patient is on medication that raises the pH of the stomach aspirin, like proton pump inhibitors or H2 blockers, then the pH of the aspirin may not be below 4.5. An x-ray would be needed to verify placement.